The piece is inspired by a visit that I did a few years back to Eritrea, which is in East Africa, and it's a mirage experience. A moment where I was in the desert, the landscape in front of me, and also in the distance there was a lot of bird song. So it's a combination of that moment and it's captured through the music. The history of the Sunday concerts is a very long one. In fact, we think that we're probably the longest running chamber music series in Europe. We have a huge archive here of uh, lots of programs and various different articles about the early concerts. Um, and they began really with the People's Concert Society, which was founded in 1878. Conway Hall has survived because I think it satisfies a need for people exploring serious chamber music and the fact that it's part of a humanistic society devoted to the pursuit of knowledge and the pursuit of aesthetic excellence for its own sake as part of the enrichment of life and listening to music as being part of that. We're an ethical society, uh, the last remaining one in the UK um, we're the oldest free thought institution in the world and I think the, the concerts for me form that part of a humanist organisation as we are as well which enable people to actually enjoy the life that we have now and to come together and experience a quality event with international musicians in an international venue. My impression is that the audiences are growing and are keen to hear not only regular repertoire, or there will always be a place for that, but to explore the much wider range of chamber music, both in the past and of new works. Ever since I saw in the archive at Conway Hall that a lot of composers had their pieces played for the first time here as part of the Sunday concert series, I've been committed and enthusiastic about continuing this tradition. So it's been a pleasure in the last few seasons to have not only several pieces of contemporary music, but also several London premieres and even a few world premieres by composers who are actually incredibly successful. As a living composer, it's always good for the ensemble and I think for audiences to interact with um, people who are still writing. Um, not only listening to pieces that have been written hundreds of years ago, so it gives a chance for the audiences to, to experience something fresh, something exciting. The future of Conway Hall Sunday Concerts is something that we're always thinking about developing. We're always very conscious that we want to get a broad range of talent on that stage that will encourage and entice people to actually come along. And I think one of the ways that we're going to be doing that in the future is becoming a lot more interesting for concert goers because we'll have performances by more contemporary artists alongside our traditional programme. But we'll make that traditional programme itself more exciting and vibrant. I think there's a sense of history here. I think it's got so many things going for it. Um, and not to mention the fact that it's well loved by the people who do come regularly. People should come to Conway Hall because it is uh, a gem of the past as well as being very relevant today. I think you can sense the tradition and the history, uh, and at the same time it brings a wonderful contribution to the chamber music scene of London. Um, it's as valid today as it was a hundred years ago.